Bus ridership is on the rise in Phoenix. The spike can be attributed to a lot of different reasons, such as people becoming more conscious of the environment and employer-subsidized bus programs. But one thing is certain, climbing gas prices are making people rethink their transportation habits. Meet Dirk Kinky, one of Valley Metro's newest travelers. Well, this is my first day riding the bus. Uh, doing it because gas prices are getting extremely too high for me to drive. Rapid and express buses, which are aimed at freeway users, are saving people the most money this summer. People can save as much as $400 a month by switching from driver to Valley Metro passenger. Lori Wingenroth, Assistant Director of Public Transit, says the increase is not just a local phenomenon. There was about an 85 million more trips taken in the first three months of this year than last year. I don't know what that equates to in percentages, but it sounds like a, a lot of riders out there. Dirk pays $250 for an all-day bus pass, which is far cheaper than filling up his SUV. Eighty bucks. Easily. Eight, Eighty bucks on a good day. I'm in Ahwatukee at the Picos Park and Ride, where bus ridership has increased 450 to 650 during the morning commute in just the last month. An increase in additional buses and routes is unlikely because of the light rail opening in late December. With JMC 330, I'm Joe DiCarlo.